The Kyber Sheikhan Fortress breaker missiles launched at Erbil, Syria, marked the longest range strikes ever carried out by the Islamic Republic at around 1,230 kilometers (765 miles). Iran claims the missile has a maximum range of around 1,450 kilometers (900 miles), carries more powerful explosives than previous iterations, and has new capabilities to evade air defenses. The blasts were taken as a warning to Iran's enemies, Israel is within range for the Kyber Sheikhan, and underlined its role as a developer and supplier of missiles for a growing list of client states, all of which are involved in conflicts with the West and its allies. We are a missile power in the world, announced Iran's defense minister, Mohammad Reza Ashtiani, after the strikes this week. Wherever they want to threaten the Islamic Republic of Iran, we will react. In 2022, the U.S. military assessed that Iran possessed the largest inventory of ballistic missiles in the region, with a stockpile of about 3,000, a collection that has since expanded and been supplemented with cruise missiles and drones. The previous year, after Iran launched a missile barrage at a U.S. base in Iraq following the assassination of General Qasem Soleimani, U.S. Commander General Kenneth F. McKenzie warned that they can strike effectively across the breadth and depth of the Middle East. They could strike with accuracy, and they could strike with volume. Iran's longest-range operational system is thought to be the Sejil, a 24-ton rocket with a range of around 2,000 kilometers. But Tehran's sprawling military-industrial complex a partnership of military, universities, and private firms, is developing designs that would put much of Europe within range. Iran can boast variety as well as mass. The most versatile fleet in the region from anti-ship to ballistic missiles of short and medium range was the verdict from Western defense official, speaking anonymously. Not intercontinental yet. Iran's missile program owes much to its former alliance with the U.S., says Dr. Michael Knights, a security analyst with a focus on Iran at the Washington Institute. Iran had built major aeronautical and engineering capabilities by the late 70s, with U.S. assistance, he said. After the 1979 Islamic Revolution led to extended hostilities between Tehran and Washington, Iran's scientists developed expertise in cloning the weapons of other powers. Over time, the Iranian defense industries became adept at building rockets, missiles and drones, based on reverse-engineered Chinese, Russian, and U.S. technology, said Dr. Knights. Iran has evaded sanctions by gaining access to foreign weaponry through espionage and battle. Developing the Shad-171 drone, after shooting down a US RQ-170 Sentinel. And the Haveza cruise missile based on the Soviet KH-55. Tehran has now turned supplier, providing short-range missiles to the Houthis in Yemen that are being used to attack shipping, to Hezbollah in Lebanon, and to allied militias in Iraq. Western officials also believe Iran will soon supply Russia with missiles as well as drones for use in its war on Ukraine. The two countries are expected to imminently sign a partnership agreement that would enhance military cooperation. Iran is willing to share this technology with all members of the Axis of Resistance to varying degrees, says Dr. Knights, referring to the alliance of militants that includes Hamas, Hezbollah, and the Houthis.
now they intend to export drones and ballistic missiles to Russia at scale he added. This will not only aid Russia and Ukraine, but will greatly strengthen the Iranian defense industrial base. As conflicts proliferate in the Middle East and Eastern Europe, Iran's missile industry continues to grow with them. Overall Iran has more than 3,000 ballistic missiles in its arsenal and is steadily adding to its stockpile of cruise missiles, according to U.S. intelligence and military estimates. Last year, Iran planned to spend 41 percent of its military budget on development and arms production, according to the Emirates Policy Center, a research organization based in Abu Dhabi. By comparison, its primary combat weapons, tanks and aircraft, are largely considered either aging or obsolete. Iran's missile production has surged over the past 15 years, as it has significantly improved the weapons precision, guidance and aerodynamics technology. Over those years, Iran shifted from a more defensive posture in the Middle East to one in which the Revolutionary Guards have taken a more assertive role across the region, including joining forces with other Shiite Muslim militants in Iraq, Lebanon, Syria and Yemen.